Hello and welcome to PMC English. My dear friends, you're watching Spiritual Talks. I'm Idris and today I'm in conversation with Mr. Pandunagam Narmeta ji, who is from Siddipet and he is serving Indoor Institution of Engineering and Technology, one of the best colleges in Siddipet. My dear friends, uh, we have previously discussed many topics, but today a very important topic that we are going to discuss is 13 Principles for Pyramid Masters. My dear friends, uh, first of all, let's welcome our guest. Very warm welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It is always nice to see you. I'm very happy because today we are going to discuss the 13 principles which are meant for the pyramid masters. Sure, sir. And these principles can be followed by everybody else also. Yes. And if they follow these principles. Exclusively. Exclusively. For pyramid masters. Pyramid masters. And if others also follow, they will also become spiritually enlightened. Isn't it, sir? Yes, sir. True. So, could you please tell me a brief about these 13 principles? First of all, I salute Patriji, sir, as he has introduced Definitely. it. Definitely. He introduced it, these 13 personal principles for pyramid masters. Right. The first one is, a pyramid master should say, always say, yes. Say yes. Say yes. Because the one and only response in the universe is yes. Wow. Whatever you ask the universe for something, the universe replies yes. So it means it's kind of a positive thinking. Yes. Isn't positive speaking and positive thinking, I would yes. say. Whatever you ask it? for, positive or negative, whatever. But the universe always say yes. Definitely. But three ask it, the universe for something. Universe, universe. Yes said yes. So, the response, the reply, the reaction from the universe is yes. So, we have to practice saying yes. One has to practice say yes. What happens? The person lives in reality. Absolutely. Mm. When the person lives in reality, he never judges. He never complains. Mm. He never criticizes. He never compares himself with others. Good. Good. He lives in reality. He is a pure, perfect, spiritual master on earth plane. Beautiful, beautiful. So saying yes, like whenever anything you want to do, say yes, I can do it. You want to go for a job interview, say yes, I can do it. And definitely you will get a positive response from that. So that is very important here for any step you take in your life. And you make sure you take the right steps because universe will always say yes. So always be nice and compassionate to everybody. Yes. Saying yes. Yes, saying yes. We are blessed. Absolutely. Now, uh, Mr. Pandu Rangamji. Sir. What about the second? Second principle is uh, having a pleasant smile on face. Every time we shall smile, smile at others. So this indicates we are happy. Under any circumstances, the pyramid master is happy. Under okay. any circumstances. When one is happy, he can do the best. Absolutely. Mm. When one is happy, he, is, he has patience, he has time. Then he can do sadhana. In sadhana right. mood, one cannot do the best. Absolutely. So every time, under any circumstances, pyramid masters should have a pleasant smile on face. This is the second personal principle of pyramid master, Patriji sir introduced. So always smile. Always smile. Challenges life throws mm. on us, we have to smile. In difficulties, you have to smile. Happiness? In happiness, we have to smile. Have to, mm. That's really amazing. Yes, sir. That uh, smile is contagious. You know, if I smile, you will also smile. Isn't yes, sir. It? So we spread happiness. That's the beauty of our, say, the uh, smile principle. Yes, isn't sir. It? Happiness is key to success. Absolutely. If That's we are happy, say. our mind is happy, we feel healthy. Mm. It will uh, bring positive changes in our body, in our yes. human brain. And, and uh, definitely when you are positive, your vibration will bring positivity to others. Yes, sir. Isn't it, sir? Absolute, sir. Emptiness is achieved in meditation through happiness. Beautiful. This is. When we empty our thoughts, when we em empty our mind from a hell lot of thoughts, it becomes empty, it automatically becomes happy. When it is happy, it achieves yes. what it has to achieve. He has time, he has patience, certainly he can Definitely. do sadhana. Definitely. He can do sp spiritual practice. So what about the third one? The third one is, give credit to others. Mm. Where there is ego, there is no gratitude. All pyramid masters are people of gratitude according to Patriji sir. We work hard, we shall give the credit to others. 
Definitely. then we are free from ego. We are in, in the state of gratitude. Definitely. For that purpose, Patriji sir introduced this personal principle to pyramid masters. So that was about the like how we can appreciate others yes, sir. and you know kind of acknowledging others efforts and giving them credit that is very important in our, in our lives it brings a more better environment when yes, we sir. talk to others when we deal with others True. when we appreciate them appreciation always makes them happy and happiness leads to spirituality isn't True, it sir. True. now coming to the next point fourth uh, personal, principle. personal principle what is it all about what does it specify equality sir equality or equal minded right all our soul beings all our masters, all our gods. Pati sir every time says, my dear gods. Absolutely. My dear masters. So here, a pyramid master is free from duality. From the perception point of Patriji, a pyramid master is free from duality, then he can be in equanimity. Right. The person who is in equanimity, he can do yoga. Beautiful. Mm. Amazing. That's why we shall have an equal minded and we shall be in equality. Correct. Mm -hmm. We shall treat others equally. Absolutely. As That's you previously said in our other in, discussion, mm, yes, sir. Where, when you said that when we spread meditation, when we spread spirituality in PSSM, mm. we don't create disciples. Yes, we create masters. Masters. So everybody is master. The one who is teaching, the one who is learning, yes, both are coming to the same level. Same level. So no up and down, no upper, lower, nothing, no, no. classes. Everybody is equal. Equal. Everybody is a master. Yes, sir. Everybody is a creator. Yes, sir. Isn't is it? a creator. Amazing. It is spoken in Gita also. Absolutely. Nirdvandu nitya sattvastvo niryoga kshema atma. So, the person who is free from duality, he can be in equanimity. Beautiful. The person who is in equanimity, he can do yoga. I, I think Patriji, sir, applies this. Definitely, of course. It is uh, very mm. well described in the 18 guiding principles. Yes, sir. And then when we apply it in our 13 personal principles, mm. so definitely life is, uh, you know, we understand it in a better way and this will help us to <coughs> live a peaceful life. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, true. Now, coming to the fifth personal principle. The fifth personal principle is unity is strength. Unity is strength. Unity is strength. Definitely. All pyramid masters should be united. There is a great saying, united we strong, divided we fall. Very true. Very so, true. unity is strength. In we work together. We have to work together. Uh, we are one aim, mm. one goal. If we are diverted, mm. then definitely we will not achieve the dream of Patriji, that is Dhana Jagat. Uh, all pyramid master uh, is a group of many hands, but of one mind. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, United, we are strong. Correct. Unity is strength. We have to develop by being unity, by being united, we have to develop group consciousness. Beautiful. Group consciousness is highly beneficial for soul evolution. This is a great thought that Patriji sir introduced this. Lovely. That's really amazing. So, sir. we have to make sure that we, whatever we do, we have to be in union. Union. We have to be united together united together to achieve whatever we want to achieve yes, in sir. our lives that's really amazing now as you said that the group consciousness the unity brings group consciousness <laughs> so what is the importance of that how do you specify that how is it beneficial for everybody uh, for example i will give an example there are eight dry sticks and there are two wet sticks hmm. we cannot burn them Correct. We cannot burn the wet sticks. We can burn dry sticks easily. Right. When we burn dry sticks, these two wet sticks added to that by default, automatically the wet sticks will burn. So group consciousness is highly beneficial for those who practice yoga. Right. To be still fast in yoga. If a group of people, they are following the meditation, the spirituality. Yes. And if there's a group, a small group. Yes, sir. Which are not following. But if by following the, these guys, these people following these principles or these uh, spiritual path, they will automatically bring and include them, isn't it? True, sir. That is amazing. True. Beautifully explained. <laughs> I really appreciate the way you took the example of sticks. Thank you, sir. Uh, really appreciable. Thank you. You made it so easy for others to understand, like Thank you. how we can make it better and 
and leave a good impact on others who are uh, who are not spiritually enlightened or not inclined towards spirituality glad, sir. how we I'm can glad. bring them if we are un united that will bring them also together yes. that is the group consciousness thing yes. isn't it that's really amazing when one lives in group one when one practices yoga in group he never steeping down he never gliding down what about the sixth principle the sixth principle of psm is cleanliness is next to godliness we right. can feel the presence of god in neatness personal neatness will comfort the mind hmm. the comfort mind can do meditation that's why we should clean all our surroundings right we maintain physical neatness we should also maintain the neatness of surroundings right hmm. so in this this is mandatory for sadhak right so in this it is uh, very important like uh, scientifically mentally physically whatever we say yes sir cleanliness is very important yes. hygiene yes. hygiene basic Hy hygiene yes sir it has to be there there's no you know question no answer on that mm. you have to follow it yes. keep yourself physically clean yes always clean hands clean mouth clean face uh, clean clothes of yes. course yes, yes. and wherever you sit wherever you are uh, working Mm. keep that atmosphere neat and clean yes, isn't sir. it yes that will automatically bring some sort of happiness yes uh, when our mind is happy automatically as you said it leads to spirituality 100% sir it makes it easy yes isn't true it? beautifully explained sir, sir. Uh, what about the seventh seventh one? principle be happy all the time 24 by 7 be happy be pure in heart and always do self check this is the seventh principle seventh one mm. so we have to be happy, happy and always do a self check self check so how self do you, observation how do you elaborate it how people will understand it okay, can sir. you please throw mm. some light on it yes. we, we have to be happy be pure in heart and we do self check every time this will lead a life of perfection doing meditation regular practice of doing meditation and regular associate with our fellow spiritual beings with that we shall lead a noble life a life of perfection right for that uh, we always should be pure in heart be happy and do self check every time this so, is a compulsory for a sadhak right so you said happiness mm. and then purity in heart purity in heart do and self, self check, check. so mm. three things in the seventh one seventh one right isn't it yes so the importance of these three things is lead noble like, life it will lead to a noble life, noble life. a better life a life of perfection perfection life mm. perfection in our life yes sir so if we kind of you know keep ourselves happy it will automatically keep our mind happy yes isn't it mm. happy mind is house for spirituality mm. and then you said purity of heart mm. so always keep compassion in your heart yes, sir. that brings yes. I, i think that is the kind of purity we, mm. we don't need to have bad thoughts for others yes. we have to be compassionate to every other kingdom True. isn't it so at least there should be no harm from my side to any other person True. whoever i am associated with who I, whoever i am with isn't it and the third thing which comes in the seventh uh, personal principle mm. personal guiding principle mm. that is the self check mm. so we always have to check oh. where am i going to, yes. isn't it what was i yesterday mm. what am i today and what i have to be tomorrow yes sir am i right true so definitely this is a very powerful seventh principle and uh, i think if people follow this a lot of things can come at the right place fall at the right place and that will help this whole universe to be a better place i would say for yes. everybody every generation for every kingdom be it animal kingdom plant kingdom mineral kingdom, mineral kingdom. or human kingdom, human kingdom. isn't it yes, this is amazing that is really amazing according to patri ji sir pyramid master should not keep something inside and exhibit the other outside absolutely whatever is there in the heart it has to be the on same. your tongue so if we come to the eighth principle mm. it is i think more about you know how we eat and sleep yes, isn't sir. it yes sir so could you please elaborate it uh, what kind of you know uh, gui guidance is there given by patri ji in terms of how we eat what we eat and how much in fact we sleep right could you please elaborate that the eighth principle is sir the eighth principle be aware in all situations hmm. regular practice of doing meditation and regular associate with uh, spiritual beings let us uh, take less food and have less sleep the eighth 
personal principle says that mm. we have to be aware, mm. number one, mm. take less food. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yeah, take less food. Less sleep. Isn't it? Yes. So the reason for that is, firstly, we are contributing to the nature. True. If we eat too much, mm. we are eating a lot from our nature. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes. Because I personally feel uh, the reason for that is, firstly, the less we eat, the better it is. That digestion will be better. Mm. More nutrients will be absorbed. Yes. Less waste. Isn't it? And secondly, if I, let's say I, if I'm having one plate of rice or whatever, if I divide it into two, or at least one third, isn't it? One True. third, if I contribute to other animals, they might also be hungry. Hungry. If we give it to them, that will be divided. That's mm. a divine work, isn't yes. it? We can take it that way. And sleep, oh, of course, our mind needs meditation for rest and our yes. body, as you said, needs sleep. Needs sleep. Right. How about the ninth one? Now? The ninth one is uh, be forefront for uh, doing spiritual work 24 by 7. We shall be spiritual workaholic. We are assigned any spiritual work. We should say no. We shall be forefront to do that work. Hmm. That is the ninth principle. Sir. 24 by 7, we should be ready to do the spiritual assigned work. Now, all pyramid masters are following this. So, if we uh, come to the tenth one. The tenth one. Hmm. So, don't dwell in the past. No regrets. Be a light unto yourself. Generally, old people dwell in the past. Youth live in the future. Future. But spiritual beings and uh, pyramid masters live in the present, present. having done clear-cut plans for instant future. Definitely. And uh, it is said that our present makes our future. 100 percent. The present moment will decide the future. Definitely. Past is a memory. The future is imagination. Correct. The present, present is reality. Uh, the, pre the present is reality. It is in our hands. <laughs> but all parent masters and spiritual beings live in present. Definitely. They never regret. They never live in future. They never live in the past. So it means that we have to be focused on present. Present. Isn't Focus it? on present. Because past is gone, future, we mm. don't know about it. It may come, may not come, mm. because uh, we depend on our breath. We breathe in, we might not breathe out. Yes, sir. If we breathe out, maybe next moment we might not be able to breathe in. Of course. But the present moment, when we are talking, when yes. we are alive, when we can, you know, whatever we want to touch, we can touch it. Whenever we can, we want to feel something, we can do it. Mm. That is the present moment. Yes. We have to always be present in the and, present moment. And plan for instant future. Definitely. Mm. So we have to make sure that our present is nice. Mm. We don't have any regrets, no regrets. Yes, sir. Uh, no dwelling in past. No. Mm. But always be focused on present. That will automatically create a better future for us. Yes. They do plans also. Absolutely. Mm. Plans are there, of course. Plans, of course. plans. And planning is very important, yeah, of course, but we have to be in present. Yes. We cannot waste our present moment. Period masters follow P4 principle. They plan, they prepare, they practice, and they perform. The person who fails means he, he plans to fail. He failed to plan. The person who fails means mm. he failed to plan. So actually, if a person fails, mm. it is said that he failed to plan. Ah, he fails to plan. So our plans are very important. Yes. Now, coming to the next principle. Next principle is the 11th one. 11th one, definitely. Pyramid masters should be interested in artistic life. They show their interest in singing, in dancing, hmm. in cultural activities. Correct, correct. Artistic and life. Got so, it. this is the 11th principle. 11th personal guiding principle. Personal guiding principle. Apart from doing meditation, apart from doing spiritual service, apart from uh, reading books, books, apart from sharing uh, knowledge, knowledge. Mm. they have to be in, in cultural activities. Right. So, mm. any kind of every art. Every year in Kartal, all pyramid, party, uh, pyramid masters participate in cultural activities. Cultural activities. In singing, in dancing. Dancing, mm. mimicry, mimicry, lot of things. All, yes, all, of all kinds of. And you might be interested in painting, you might be interested in writing poetry. True. You might be, whatever art you have, whatever talent you have, you True. need to bring out. Yes, sir. And apply it in your day-to-day -day life and share it with others. Yes, sir. That's amazing. How about the twelfth one now? The twelfth one is, love all, even those who hate you. Beautiful. Mm. Very strong, very powerful. Very powerful. Very deep. Very deep. So, what happens, you know? 
if you love those who hate you, their emotions will not touch the aura of you, will not reach you. The love emotion of you will prevent from touching you, touching your aura or reach you. Beautiful, beautiful. So, we, sh we should love all the people, even those who hate us. This is the twelfth principle. So, always keep compassion and love, love. in your heart, mm. in your mind. There is no revenge type mentality. So, always keep love and compassion in your heart because that will create a strong shield in your, around you. If Very there are people sir. who hate you, who want to bring some negative energy, this will cut that, cut this that. will filter that, filter isn't it? That. Mm. This will trim that. Yes. So, it is very important to have great love and affection in our heart yes. because love only can overcome hate, yes. isn't it? If love is more powerful than hate. For spiritual ascension, your love and compassion will help. It will not break Absolutely. your spiritual ascension. Absolutely. For that, we shall love all. We shall maintain friendship with all. Beautiful. We are burnt as Maitreya Buddhas. Right. Mm. According to Patriji sir. Absolutely, absolutely. He always says, be friends with everybody. Yes. That's really amazing. This is very powerful. Very powerful. Like uh, it touched my heart, honestly. Oh, great sir. <laughs> because uh, love is very important, mm. which is uh, lacking in this world. We see a lot of wars happening around. Mm. It's all because of this hate. The greatest it? force uh, in the universe is love and compassion. And when we give love, we get automatically. Yes, sir. So, you apply it on animals or anything, mm. or even if it's non-living thing, I personally have experience like uh, we previously had an experience when you, uh, I asked you to perform in that dress, sir. particular dress, I yes. said, let's not make it upset, sure, sir. isn't it? <laughs> so we Good, had sir. to perform that and th definitely that thing might be happy somewhere. I appreciate your keen observation in this. Absolutely. Mm. So, I always, you know, try to follow this one because this is very important. Yes, sir. Love is very important. Very important. Is the greatest and force. Much needed. Much needed. In nowadays. Mm. For spiritual uh, sadhaks. Of course. Spiritual practitioners. Of course. Mm. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Narmeta ji, coming to the last personal principle, in fact, personal guiding principle given by Patriji to the whole humankind, whole mankind. Uh, how do you explain that one to our viewers? Okay. The last and final uh, personal principle of PSSM is. Self appreciation. Self appreciation. Appreciation. Well, how do we do that? This is a miraculous one, sir. Recognizing the nobility within is self appreciation. The best within, the worst within also. Can be connected to the self introspection, isn't it? Uh, not self introspection, of course, but it is uh, recognizing, identifying okay. the best and worst within. Right, right. This is self appreciation. So, does it uh, help us to analyze ourselves? Analyze ourselves. So, everything will be in our favor when we do self-appreciation. So, can you give me an example, for example, how can I, you know, apply it and do it? Uh, this is, uh, if you appreciate yourself, others will appreciate. Mm -hmm. This is law of universe. Correct. If you curse yourself, others will everybody curse. Will curse. Every, everybody will curse. What you give, that you get. Got it. Mm. So, it's also like, you know, it attracts, attracts. appreciation, yes. isn't it? Yes. When you appreciate yourself, uh, it will attract appreciation from others. Uh, that's why this is a miraculous one. Fortunate will manifest mm, in Definitely. this uh, principle, principle. Mm. and uh, everything will be in our favor. Beautiful. Mm. Amazing. Amazing. We, we lead absolute spiritual life by doing this. Beautiful, really amazing. Mm, I sir. had a discussion with Patriji mm. like last year, I would say, in okay. uh, 2022. He once said, the birds of the same feather flock together. Flock together, I right. can connect it with this yes. because if we appreciate ourselves, we created an energy mm. and which will automatically, you know, bring the attraction for others to appreciate me, mm. isn't it? I can connect it that way also. Yes, sir. Whatever the emotion we release in the universe, it will come back to us. So, anything else you want to add to these 13 personal guiding principles? Uh, this is the dream of Patriji, sir. Every pyramid master uh, should follow this. Hmm? If anyone is missing, there is some lack. Hmm. So, to fulfill it and to fulfill the dream of Patriji, sir, I think 
there are 144000 pyramid mm. masters across the world mm. they are inculcating these uh, 18 principles 18 guiding principles and 13 personal principles so mr pandurangam narmeta ji uh, it's really amazing the session we had today about the 13 personal principles given by Patriji for the pyramid masters particularly and for everybody who wants to follow them, most welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, and if we combine the 18 guiding principles given by Patriji, yes. those 18 plus these 13, 13. isn't it? Mm. So, uh, as a whole, if we follow them, what kind of changes will bring it in our day-to-day -day life? Soul will be evaluated. There is a spiritual growth, soul evolution spiritual ascension is possible. So why do you think that we should follow all of them or is it okay to follow a few of them? Uh, I think all parent masters are following this. Of course, definitely. Uh, but what about the others who, you know, want to join it, or do, join the path of spirituality? Do you suggest them to follow all of them or start with something and then, you know, slowly, slowly inculcate these uh, guidelines mm. one by one or at a time they can try to follow it. Mm. What do you think? Now, uh, Pyramid Spiritual Society is blossoming like a flower. Right. It is moving ahead. Day by day, it uh, increases its re reputation. Absolutely. That's why everyone follows this. It's certainly, it is clear Correct. that everyone follows these 18 guiding principles and 13 personal principles. According to Patiji sir, there are 1,44,000 Pyramid Masters. And it's growing. Growing. Of, of course. Mm. So I proudly say that I am one of them. Definitely. I'm proud to be one of them. Of course. Self-appreciation. Self-appreciation, <laughs> right, sir. So, Good. my dear viewers, uh, it was really an interesting session again with Mr. Pandurangam Narmeta ji, who is uh, from Siddhi Pet, our senior pyramid master, a very knowledgeable master. Always I learned new things from him. Uh, whatever I have learned, it also, you know, adds to that knowledge. Really appreciable. My dear friends, uh, as uh, Mr. Pandurangam ji has said that pyramid masters are growing globally. It is worth noting that pyramid uh, spiritual society is now available on internet. It's uh, available in a lot of other countries, foreign countries, be it United Kingdom, USA, Canada, Egypt. You take name, uh, even uh, our neighboring countries, Pakistan, China, then Bhutan, and a lot of other places wherein our message is going now. Day by day we are increasing because we have honesty. We come with a true heart. Our hearts are full of love and compassion. That is what attracts from the whole universe. And the world we want to create is a peaceful, compassionate and a beautiful world wherein everybody is happy, everybody, everybody lives in peace. Everybody is in unity and always, always remember whenever you talk, think before you talk. Before you Very speak. important. Never ever hurt others the way you talk, the way you behave. That's very important. We should not create such kind of karmic cycles which will create problem, which will create hurdles for our better life because in this world, we are born for a reason. Yes. And we need to serve this humanity. We need to serve the uh, universe. We need to serve our purpose of life. And we have to be the creators of our own reality. True, sir. Live in present. So this is all I have learned. Basic, I mean, the top most things that I've learned from these sessions uh, while talking to Mr. Pandu Rangamji. Sir. Really amazing. Sir. And I'm Great sure sir. that our viewers have mm. also learned a lot from this. And I request humbly and personal request for you all please keep love and compassion in your hearts thank you so much for watching this episode mm. and for more such episodes for more such knowledge spiritual knowledge do like share and subscribe our videos and also spread the word isn't it we always believe in spreading the spiritual knowledge to others thank you so much and before we close this episode a short message from Mr. Pandu Rangamji. I convey the message uh, through this episode that uh, we shall fulfill the dream of Patriji sir. What he has introduced that we have to follow and we shall fulfill his dream. Thank you sir. It's a great uh, opportunity uh, to sit with you. 
to have a great conversation with you. Hmm? I also learn many things from you, sir. Definitely, it's always a learning. Mm -hmm. It's give and take. Uh, think in our day-to-day -day life, we sir. always learn from each other. Sir. And everybody is equal, as we say. Yes, yes, sir. Everybody is a we master. Are, we are soul beings. Yes, of course. They are all masters. Nobody is upper Ab or lower. No everybody is equal. Equal, sir. So I really appreciate. You are a great master. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, sir. So please, viewers, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe these videos. And thank you for watching. Take care.